What you're about to see is based on a true story. It begins in Los Angeles in 1943. Come on, well, not finished. Let me finish. 
You know what my husband did. <laughs> this sweet thing. You know what he did? He paid for tickets for my folks to oh, come all the way from Albor to see Calvin off. You are come on. Why don't you get my Look coat and I will hold your drink? <laughs> oh no. We're both gonna get your coat. Now. Come on. Bye. Will Kitty survive? Wait and turn off that radio Stay and get cute. in here. Your sister's about to serve dinner. Looky here, Daddy, your rotten apple turned into a gourmet cook. Ain't you proud? Oh, 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 oh. oh. It might improve the flavor. Oh. Well, come on, everybody, drink up. Your life spaghetti. Oh. oh, Lord. Well, don't look so serious. My floor is thick and fan, honey. Here, tell you, my floor is thick and fan, honey. <laughs> They serve this now? Oh, I'll serve the salad. It's real clean. I'll take it. I'll take it. I can serve my own salad. Well, I don't think the cook should have to do all the work. I could serve the salad. Uh, good idea, Abby. Well, I can help you. Sit, B. Sit. Mm. Yeah, Here, I'll let me get it, huh? You do the salad, Abby? Hey, now, Clayton, don't you eat too much. I want to keep you skinny, so maybe you won't pass oh, your physical. I wonder if that's my physical be. Got a bad back anyways. Mm, well, it'll take him bad back or not. Well, if I have anything to say about it. Well, you don't, Mama. Here, honey, if you are old enough to fight, you are old enough to drink. Right, Daddy? Hey, Mama, come on. Have some wine. It's good for what ails you. Mm. I ain't eating. Well, come on, Daddy, eat. I ain't too big on Italian food. Come, come on, what are you taking so long for? Put him down. Come on, Calvin. 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 Enough celebrating. Honey. Mm, mm, mm. It's no fun to drink alone. Come on, Mama. Oh, honey, I Come think on, I'll honey. stick with the coffee. Thanks, dear. No more. Dear. Well, honey, I didn't give you any. I said no more. <laughs> Party pooper. <laughs> I think it's about time we all hit the hay, huh? Yeah, why don't you do that? We're not sleepy. It's enough. You hear? You've had enough. I haven't even begun. Sure is edgy. He's been working awful hard lately. It's uh, midnight our time. We best be turning in. Well, yeah, we got a big day planned tomorrow. I'm going to take you all and show you a movie set and a Hollywood sign. Hey, I, uh, you all know where you're supposed to sleep, and there are new pretty towels on your bed. Now, you use your own, you know? Good night, Mama. Good night, honey. Night, Daddy. Oh, Daddy, we got two bathrooms. Abby, honey, you don't have to do that. Oh, I want to help you here. No, no, come on. You are on vacation. I always do this myself, anyhow. I just can't stand getting up to a dirty kitchen, you know? Oh, I know what you mean. Let's have a nightcap. Come on. None for me. Come on, honey. Sit down here by me. Why don't you let me do this and you go on to bed? Huh? I'm sure Johnny would appreciate it. Why the hell with him? Come on, sit down. Sit down by me. You're as pretty as ever. No wonder Daddy looks at you like you as one and only. Oh, he looks at all his kids that way. <laughs> Not me. 
What do you want from him, Dave? I don't know. I just know I never got it. Come on. Nope. I stopped drinking a year ago. I was really slugging it down, you know? You what? Yep. And every time I'd swear off, well, I'd just hit the old bottle again. But I found this new organization, Alcoholics Anonymous. You ever hear of them? Uh-uh. Oh, sure. I'm glad I found them. Go back. They have a branch right here in L.A. Look, honey, why don't you just go on to bed and get some rest? We got a big day tomorrow. But, but I, I oh. want to. No buts about it. Now, go on. I can do this faster myself. They make you feel real welcome, then. They're wonderful. Good, Abby. Good. I'm glad. Now, go on, honey. Get some rest. Night. Good night. Poor Abby, an alcoholic. You're not sleeping. I know you're not sleeping. You ruined my whole business. You embarrassed my folks, too. I like to die. Why'd you make a fool out of me like that? I wouldn't hurt nobody. I'll never forgive you for that. Never! Where's Johnny? I haven't seen him around, V. Eh? Oh, he's always working. Or sleeping. Hello there. Mind if I sit down? You shouldn't be all by yourself. I agree. Hey, wake up. I don't know where I am. Woo! <laughs> hey, sailor, which way is the ocean? You're going to find yourself in it if you keep going. in here. Oh, I'm so terribly sorry, officer, but but I came to pick up my brother. Would you get out of the car, please? Oh, please don't do that. He's a very ill man. Lady, are you drunk? No, I am not drunk. I, I'm the only one my poor brother has in this whole wide world, and he's a diabetic. Smells like a perfume drunk to me. Well, all right. All right, I'll tell you the truth. He does hit the sauce every now and then. And then when he does, he, he goes into a diabetic coma. And I don't know what to do. I've, been, I've just been trying to find a hospital around right here. I've been driving all around, and I don't know this area very well, as you can plainly see. Yes, ma'am. Um, let me see your license and registration, please. I'm telling you, if he dies, I'm holding you responsible. Okay. Okay. Turn left at the light. Go two blocks and you'll see a sign that says emergency. Yes, sir. And thank you very, very kindly. I'm sure glad you come along. Yes, ma'am. You're on your own.
the hell are you doing? Didn't they? Yeah, well, your father had to go back to work. I didn't spend any time with them. They sent you their love? Your daddy. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Liar. Daddy never said that in his life. What gets into me, Johnny? You don't get crazy. You drink as much as I do. Well, got a bigger tank. You aware of what you did? I don't remember anything before or after the knife. How come you put up with me, Papa? Because you're a lot of fun. I enjoy being with you. When you're a good girl. Yes, I always have. Always will. If you don't kill me. Can I come home now? Yeah, but uh, <clears throat> I got to go away on location for a few days. I'll be a good girl. I don't I want promise. you to be alone. I'll be fine, honest. For a while, anyway. Uh, you'll need somebody to take no, care of. I'll, I'll be right. your nurse. I don't need no nurse. She'll only be for five days. I don't want no nurse. She's very good. You'll like her. No! No, no, no! All right. Then you'll have to stay here till I come back. How many days till Johnny gets back? Three. This stuff tastes like horse meat. And if you don't mind, I would like my eggs cooked four minutes. The ones you fixed this morning tasted like they was just laid. How come you don't talk to me? Because I don't like you. Well, fine, then why don't you just get out? I don't like to have somebody taking care of me who doesn't like me. I was paid to stay here till your mister gets back. I'm staying. I'm getting out. I've never been so bored in my life. Now, what are you doing? I am taking out a dress. You are not allowed to go out. It's either me or you, lady. And you're not getting your money back. Well, fine. Fine, just keep it. Keep it. Who cares?
Hello? You said they welcomed me. B. B, is that you? I can't hear you. You said they would welcome me. What are you talking about? B, are you all right? Um, uh, what's a word? Anonymous. I want to be welcomed. Oh, me. I need, I need help, Abby. Thank God. I, I'm an automatic of pills that I can't eat. And I can't get my breath. And I'm scared. Am I gonna die? No, sugar. You gotta be born. It's open. This is Rita. Hi. Pleased to meet you. I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to pretty up the room before you all got here, but I have been so darn busy entertaining relatives. I don't feel too good. I watched the glass. Oh, Pardon me. have a little touch of domain. We eat out so much, you know. Listen, uh, we know you're embarrassed. It's all right. Oh, no, it's just that I'm not, uh, I'm not used to entertaining visitors at this hour of the day. Especially good-looking ones. It takes me a while to make myself presentable. Why don't y'all come back a little bit later? Because you're sick and you need us now. Where's the broom closet? It's in the kitchen down the hall. <coughs> Darling, I'm a little bit cold for some reason. You think you could get me some more blankets here in the chest down there? Sure. <sighs> Thank you. You're mighty sweet. Well, I didn't expect no cleaning crew. Are you this nice to your wife? I'm not married, but you are. Oh, honey, that's a little too bright. <laughs> Why don't y'all just sit down? I like getting to know new folks. Oh, are, uh, are you two in love? <laughs> no. I'm married with two kids. Sure are good looking. Thanks. But you can't say the same for me, huh? Mm, here comes the lecture. Oh, no. No lecture. You're going to talk. I've been talking. Yeah, but you haven't been saying anything. Look, last night your sister called A. I know. How much is this going to cost? Nothing. When you're able, we'd like you to come to a meeting. Thank you. I'm not too big on meetings. You take some of these off me, I am sweating to death. As soon as you're well enough, why don't you... I told you all I got is a little tomaine. Beatrice, let's cut the crap, okay? Okay. I've been to a sanitarium, a nut house. I was even thrown in jail once. Everybody thinks I'm a hopeless case. Do you? 
Yeah, I'm a big blob of nothing. Good. Things can only get better. I got the sweetest husband in the whole wide world, and you should see how I treat him. I never was good for nothing, anyhow. My daddy always knew that. I don't mean to hurt anybody, you understand, but it, it just don't matter because I always seem to wind up doing it anyhow. And I lie. I lie something awful. Are you lying now? Hell no, I really am all those things. What would you like most in this world right now? Other than a drink. A bath. Oh, I would love a bath. I can't even do that. I gotta get going. I hope I get to see you again soon. Listen, if you get a chance, why don't you take a look at this book? It's pretty good stuff. And B, you're going to be pretty again. You should have seen me before. Anonymous. Yeah, well, I'll take over now. Uh, Mr. O'Reilly, when B gets well, she may want to come and see us. Uh, I left the number. Yeah, so. well, we'll be fine. Don't discourage her. Lady, please don't tell me what to do. What do I owe you? Nothing. Nice meeting you. Brady, you don't have to go. Uh, AA's number's in the book. Please call B. Why were you so Why that nurse quit? What'd you do to her? She wouldn't talk to me, so I kicked her out. She was hired by me. Yeah, well, she wouldn't knife to me. Don't you call me, Beatrice. You dumped her so that you could get to that damn bottle. Every time anybody tries to help you, you turn on them. Damn. I don't know what the hell I should do with you. I bail you out, I take you back, I forgive you, work my tail off to give you a good life, and I come home and find you with some, some stranger giving you a bubble bath. Well, Rita understands me. Oh, yeah, well, then let Rita take care of your doctor bills because I've had it with you up to here. I drank it already. Oh, that's fine, fine, just fine. You want to drink yourself to death, huh? Okay, I'll help you, huh? Come on, let's get you another bottle, huh? Got another one around here. What are your secret hiding places? I need somebody to take care of me. I spend my life taking care of you. What the hell you do? You work all day and you come home and you sit down and you have your supper and you go to bed. What kind of taking care of is that? What else do you want? I'd like you to do more than just sleep in that bed. I can't stand the smell of you anymore. Johnny? Johnny? Go in there. I don't know anybody. Well, neither did I. 
Oh, come on, come on. What have you got to lose? And who knows, you might have a good time sober. Sober for less than okay. 30 days. Uh, Not so that we there's are there's two seats over right there. Please raise your hand. Our speaker tonight is Tom. Hi, I'm Tom. I'm an alcoholic. I just got fired from my job today. Oh. But you know what? What? I'm still sober. Yeah. I have my higher power to thank for that. Boy, I've been on my knees a lot lately. <laughs> but you know what they always say. You have to learn how to crawl before you can walk. What time it is? I went out for coffee for you. Coffee. It's all right, coffee. Yeah. The meeting was wonderful, Papa. Yeah? And what you say? It ain't like that. I was real scared at first, you know? And then, I don't know, I just, I felt like I was at home. They were great. I can't explain it. I, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's because they've been through it all, you know? Aren't you listening, Johnny? Uh, I'm going to bed. Wait, wait. Wait a minute. I don't understand. All these years, I've been coming home at all hours drunk, doing Lord knows what with who, and you never said a word. You never asked me a thing. And now that I'm going to a place where I might be able to get well, you're mad? Nobody can help you get well. God knows I tried. Johnny, I know you have. And I owe my life to you, but don't you understand? You, you can't help me. You're not like them. You can't help me. Oh, help yourself. Well, I can't. I can't, Johnny. Papa. My breath's real sweet tonight. Yeah. My mind isn't. Good night, Papa. I love you. Uh, Johnny? Hi, you look great. Uh, I'll get your coat, huh? Gotta be cold outside tonight. I can't go with you, Johnny. What are you talking about? Well, speaker canceled out tonight, and I'm gonna do it instead. You gotta be kidding. This is the boss's big party. I know, honey. I... No, 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 you can't do this to me. The boss wants you there. You're always the life of the party. They're depending on me, Johnny. Well, so am I. I need you tonight. What am I going to tell the boss? I was kind of hoping you'd come with me, Johnny. I'm, I'm real scared. You coming or not?
Higher power. Forgive me for not saying God, but I ain't had that spiritual experience the AAs I'll talk about. I gotta speak tonight, and I never wanted to drink so bad in my life. I know I'm not saying it's too good, but I sure do mean it. If you just get me past that. That bar. I swear to you, I will devote the rest of the days I got left here on this earth to helping somebody else. That's about it. Except I'm ready for that spiritual experience now. If you are. I'm Beatrice. I'm very thirsty. I'm also an alcoholic. Hi, Beatrice. <laughs> I think I just had my spiritual experience. <laughs> Seven dinner, you'll be late. For what? For your meeting. Taking the night off. You are? You want to celebrate with me? My first year in AA's coming up and I'm clean. I know I've lied to you so much, Johnny. I don't know if you're able to believe me or not, but I swear to you for the first time. I'm clean. And I want to be with my husband. Well, I don't know why. I haven't been one for a long time. Well, it's kind of hard to be a husband when you don't have a wife. How would you like your old roommate back again? <laughs> One year old today. There are a lot of people I want to thank. But the one who, uh, who stood by me through all those years of marital bliss <laughs> is here tonight to give me my cake. My husband, Johnny. <laughs> you pamper your husband like this? When he's sober. I'm sorry, honey. What's the matter with you today? I'm bored. I'm one useless person. You know, I made a promise I'm not keeping. Hey, hold still. I gotta do something. You know, Rita, when I was in jail, I saw women a lot worse off than me. Oh, there's gotta be some way to help them. All right, put your other hand in. 
How come AA's mostly men? I don't know. Women are more afraid somehow. Yeah. Captain Burnside? I'm Beatrice O'Reilly. Sit down. Well, I I'm not going to take up too much of your time. I know you're real busy. You see, I'm anxious to help the girls in the county jail. Well, aren't we all? Well, I'm an alcoholic, and I think the girls with that problem might get something from me. And you want to hold meetings here at the jail? Yeah. It's been tried. The girls just don't trust outsiders. Well, the men have a program. That's Captain Rollins' decision. Who? The head of the men's division. Well, I don't understand if the men can... Those girls are not here because they drink. They're here because they break the law. Maybe so they can get a drink. I'm sorry. I just don't want to raise any false hopes. Well, false hope's better than no hope at all. You have a lot of energy, Mrs. O'Reilly. Channel it where it'll do some good. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't you just think about it? I'll think about it. Good day, Mrs. O'Reilly. Could I wait outside for your answer? I don't think that quickly. I have a jail full of women with problems. You are hardly a top priority. Well, in that case, wouldn't it be easier to say yes right now than maybe I could relieve you of some of your burden? Right now, you are my burden. I understand. If I was in your shoes, I guess I'd feel the same way. Could I call you tomorrow? You can, but I won't have an answer for you tomorrow. Yeah, figured. Well, so long. Thank you very kindly. Goodbye. Good luck. Captain Burnside suggested I have a meeting with the head of the men's division. Captain Rollins? Uh-huh. Captain Burnside wants you to start a program for the women? Yes, sir. That's what she indicated. I find that unlikely. I know. I couldn't believe it either. Mrs. O'Reilly, the first thing both of us have to do is to be straight with one another. She don't want to do it. Well, just what did you have in mind? I want to talk to as many girls as will talk to me. I want to let them know that somebody cares. I respect that, but it's highly unusual. For... But will you just give me a chance? I know I can get through to those girls. I've been through it all myself, short of killing somebody, and I even almost did that once in a blackout. I appreciate your frankness. Couldn't you just talk to Burnside? If you couldn't convince her, nobody could. Who's the boss around here? Don't push me, Mrs. O'Reilly. B. Who is it you wanted to visit? Mary. Mary who? Mary... Darn, I can't remember her last name. Um, Mary... You see, we only met one time, and we struck up a friendship, and she made me promise that I'd come and visit her if she ever ended up in jail again. Well, I don't see a Mary here. There's a Mary Lou. Mary Lou, that's it. Mary Lou. I, that's her real name. I only called her Mary because she got mad at me if I called her Mary Lou. Mary Lou Brown. Brown. That's right. I knew it was a color. I just couldn't remember which one. Mary Lou Brown to the visiting area. Hello, Mary Lou. I'm Beatrice. Well, what do you want? I want to be your friend. What are you, some kind of nut or something? No, you see, I'm a member of Alcoholics Anonymous. I, I don't even drink. How the hell did you get my name? Please, don't give me away. Do you think maybe you could give me the names of some of the girls in there who maybe do drink too much? I am expecting my husband this afternoon. And we are allowed only one visitor per day. And now they won't let him in. I'm awful sorry. Oh, I had to get stuck with a crazy one. No, wait. Please. Please don't hang up on me. Look, if you could just give me some names, Marilyn. This watch is yours. It's real pretty and it keeps perfect time. I already got a watch. Wouldn't you like to have two? Look, don't try to bribe me, lady. It's a gift, Mary Lou. If you 
just help me help your friends in there. Wouldn't you like to see him get better? Would you stay and explain to my husband? I sure will. You just tell me what he looks like. His name is Raymond. He's tall, dark, and handsome. Very dark. <laughs> sure that these girls are drunks, but I know they were loaded when they came in. And you can't let them know how you got them names. I won't marry you, I swear, honest. You're a good person. And I'll make sure that Raymond gets my mother's watch, which her mother gave to her. I see right through you, Beatrice. But you're okay. And please keep your mother's mother's watch. Honey, I am in enough trouble as it is. Now, some of the names. There was a Tony Blasdell. This is O'Reilly. I've gotten 16 requests from the girls asking for a weekly AA meeting. Every letter says the same thing, and Captain Rollins just sent copies. But I didn't write them. You didn't see that. How in God's name did you get the girls? Well, you wouldn't sorry. believe me if I told you. Well, all right, all right. I know you're mad, and I don't blame you, because nobody likes somebody going over their head. But Captain Burnside, all I'm asking for is one meeting a week, and you can name the time and place. That's kind of you. Please. All right. All right. All right. For six months. All right. Every Wednesday for an hour. Fine. An hour. The men get two. That's all right. I'm happy. I'm happy with one. That's all right. In the dining room yeah. at 4 o'clock before the dinner line right. starts. Okay. And if I get one complaint, the meeting stops. Is that clear? Absolutely. Look, I know you think I don't want this to work, but you're wrong. I just don't want those girls to get hurt. God bless you, Captain Burnside. <laughs> oh, could I get an official pass? You know, it's real hard talking to the girls like that over the phone. This is my last request, I promise. Grab that. Hi, I'm B, and I'm an alcoholic. Hi, B. <laughs> well, that's a real rousing beginning, isn't it? I know you're all thinking, what is this straight lady doing up here preaching to us? Yeah. Well, fact is, I've been a mess all my life, and uh, if this gal over here hadn't come along and brought me to Alcoholics Anonymous, I probably... Oh, oh, I know, I know, I did the same thing. See, I'm a drunk, plain and simple. Once I admitted that to myself, I discovered I didn't have anything to hide anymore. Drunkenness is a disease. <laughs> I always thought it was a character defect. Lord knows I got plenty of those. But I learned it was a lot worse than that. It was killing me. I do have one thing God give me, though, and that's the capacity to love. And I love each and every one of you. I know what you're thinking. I know you're thinking, bull, now come on. How can she love me? She don't even know me. But that don't matter, because I do anyways. And you don't have to love me back or do anything except come here on Wednesdays and stuff yourselves full of donuts, which is one good deal. The way I see it, you've got a choice. You can spend the rest of your lives locked up sober or you can join us and spend the rest of your lives free. Of course, you can drink and not have the rest of your lives to spend. Anybody got any questions? Okay, I do. How many people would rather have jelly donuts next week? <laughs> She's giving them donuts. Yes, ma'am, that's what I'm doing. It gets them to the meetings. I don't believe in bribery. We have a waiting list a mile long to get into these meetings just for the damn donuts. non drinkers are sending in requests. It's ridiculous. I think you better cut out the donuts. Sugar helps the girls who are going through withdrawal. Captain, what do you serve the men? Coffee and cigarettes. Nothing else? Cookies. Well, what in thunder is the difference between a cookie and a donut except a hole? Rehabilitation does not mean pampering. There will be no donuts and no cookies served to the women, and that is final, Mrs. O'Reilly. Hi, girls. Listen up. I got an announcement to make. From now on, there won't be any more donuts. 
house, and so all you non-drinkers are free to leave. <laughs> Hurry up. Go on, close the door after you. Make sure. Come on, come on. Make sure that door is closed. Now, for all us drunks, Rita and me brought some homemade fudge. <laughs> Just keep it down. Listen to me. If this gets out, I'm going to be thrown out of here on my precious butt. So just keep your little mouth shut, you hear? Now, I know it's funny, but you got to swear you're not going to tell. Now, raise your right hands and repeat after me. I will not. I will not. Under no circumstances. Under no circumstances. Squeal about the fudge. Squeal about the fudge. <laughs> Dig it. I keep promising the girls a better life when they get out, and then they get out and they got no place to go. Well, you didn't eat a thing. What's the matter? Don't you like my chicken? Well, it's not exactly what you'd call a triumph. Papa, we got a couple extra brooms. Are you trying to tell me that you want those girls? Only till they get well. You're nuts, you know that? Honest to God, you're nuts. I know. But it seems <laughs> such a shame. That we... I love you. I love you, too. What do you say? Huh? I just said it. I love you. Me, too. Then it'll be all right. For me to love you? I don't know why not. Then the answer is yes. The answer is no. Papa. Me or the girls? You are going to love dessert. <laughs> I notice a lot of familiar faces I keep saying goodbye to. Tony, honey, what are you doing back here? What do you think? The cops keep picking me up for vagrancy. Huh. That's a polite word for hooking, honey. Yeah, he's going to give us a job. <laughs> Instead of your program, why don't you find his rich husband? Yeah, hey, I could use a rich husband. Yeah. yeah. Rich husbands, 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 rich husbands. Captain Burnside. Captain, I need more time. The girls are just beginning to trust me. I didn't see much trust. Oh, that well, shoot. They're just showing off because you were there most of the time. They're angels. Come on. Please. I'm begging you, please. Let me keep the program. I love those girls, and somehow I'm going to find a place for them in this world. I pray every night for an answer, and if you'll just be patient, it'll come. Honest, it will. You are some con artist. You got yourself a deal. <laughs> oh, drive carefully. Don't get a ticket. Johnny was inoperable. He was what? We performed an exploratory. What does that mean? He has a malignancy which cannot be removed. It don't seem possible. He's too big and he's too strong. I'm going to be with him when he comes down, and I don't want you to tell him nothing. Whatever you think is best, but you'll have to tell him something big. Yeah, I know. I want you to give me some big words. I've always been a pretty good liar. He won't know the difference. How much time we got? I'm afraid they only know that in the movies. Will he be well for a while? For a while. Can he come home? If there are no complications. Can he go back to work? Kill him if he can't. <laughs> Would you like a sedative, be? Oh, I don't know. I'd like a drink. <laughs> Ah. 
How you feeling, Papa? Better. Now that you're here. Can I get you anything? Cigarette. <clears throat> what did it do to me? Mm. Well, the lesion had metastasized real bad, so they got rid of it. Which is a real blessing, Pop, on account of now the good one can't catch it from the bad one. What the hell are you talking about? Well, I'm not too sure either. But I do know Papa's smoking ain't good for one. How much time do I have? I'm afraid they only know that in the movie. Thanks, Jean. I see him. What the devil are you doing here? I brought you something special for your lunch. You're driving me nuts with all this attention, you know. You liked me better when I was my old rotten self, huh? Hey, hold up. Yes, ma'am. Can you quit yes, ma'am, and me and tell me what's going on around here? Orders from the captain, ma'am. Everyone has to be cleared. Harry, for crying out loud, you know me. Wait a minute, you can't go in there. You don't want to see me. And don't you blame Harry. It's all right, Harry. I have an appointment in five minutes. That's plenty of time to say what I got to say. I'm not going to beat around the bush. I want a place for my girls. The men have places to go. Even the bums on Skid Row, if they're men. This world is rotten. Johnny's bad, isn't he, B? Well, yes, he's bad, and I can't help him. So you want to help them instead, is that it? Yes. Yes, that's it. I happen to know there are two recovery houses in this city for men only. And I checked into how they got started, and it seems you were moving force behind them. Well, I want you to move your force for me. Now, I'm not getting out of here until you tell me how you got started. You can kick me out, but I'm going to keep coming back, so you might as well give up and tell me. Shoot. First, you got a lawyer. I'll find one in AA. Then you form a committee. You're going to need a state license to run a nonprofit organization. You're going to need a county health license. You're going to need a city permit. In order to get a house, you're going to have to raise some money. Rent, food, whatever else you need. I suggest you try to get some funding from the county. No. Yeah. Oh. No way. I'm not going to have any straight people tell me how to run my house. They don't know beans about Alkies. We fail, we fail on our own. How much money? Uh, I don't know. Well, give me a rough guess. I'd say at least 2000 Ready to change your mind? I made a promise. Will you help me? You're the only one who can. Your time's up, Mrs. O'Reilly. Captain, what night's good for you? I just elected you honorary chairman of our newly formed committee. Rita, this, this is Captain Rollins, my best friend, Rita Johnson. How do you do? See, I just got a, a call from the studio. They've taken Johnny to the hospital. Keep 
breath. You gotta do something. Uh, B, B, honey, we're doing all we can. Now, why don't you go on home? I'm staying with him. Now, there's nothing you can do, honey. I'll give you a call. I'm staying! B, just this once, would you let somebody else be boss? Papa. Papa? Why, he took me up. It's better than being drunk. I can help. You hurt Papa. Can you forgive me? For what? For, for taking care of me for so long. What are you talking about? What about all those years you took care of me? Don't leave me, Papa, please. Just hang on. I can't make it without you. I was afraid that... What are you afraid of? That they, they'd take you away from me. Who? A.A.? Hey, hey? Oh, nobody could ever do that, Papa. Nobody could ever take me away from you, nothing, or nobody. My husband, Johnny, gave me my first one. He was the sweetest man I ever met. Well, he had to be to put up with me. <laughs> Five years old, honey. share something with y'all tonight, something that's very close to my heart. A brand new nonprofit organization. No, I don't, okay, you can moan, moan all you want. But, uh, well, me and some fellow members, I should say lady members, are gonna start the first recovery house for women. It's beautiful. Thank you, Mrs. O'Reilly. My husband and I lived here 30 years. We always loved it. Then he died, and it was far too big for me when all my children had grown. May I ask what you're asking? Uh, $250 a month. Oh, oh, and of course, a month's security. Thank you very much. Oh, if you'd like to have your husband come and look at it. In, uh, yes, thank you. Bye-bye. I got your husband, Rita. Uh, $682.15. That's perfect. We only need $500 for the house. Mm, and you have $182 for gas and electric. Not to mention furniture. You got lots of friends. I still got a lot of stuff I haven't sold yet. Do you plan to fast for the month? The thrift shop's beginning to make a little. Very little. Well, it'll pick up. All it needs is time. Why don't you pass on this house? You'll find I another... I am sick of arguing. Now, the two of you are acting like scared rats. I tell you, we're going to make it. We made it this far, didn't we? Oh, stop playing God. I am not playing God. I'm following his orders, and he ordered me to call up Mrs. Cunningham and take the damn house. You didn't. I did. I'm going over there tomorrow, and I'm going to sign the lease. Only thing is, she wants to meet my husband. I have exactly 30 minutes. That's all right. You know something? I don't even know your first name. Charlie. I never even asked you if you was married. I am. Very happily, thank you. Isn't that nice? I know you don't want to do this, but she's an old lady and we could get in trouble. Well, then she won't mind you telling her that her house is going to be lived in by a bunch of drunk women fresh out of jail. Very funny. Well, I'm not signing the lease. Her first spat. Good morning. Good morning. This is my husband, Charlie. A policeman. How nice. Let me show you the house. Oh, well, he doesn't have to see the whole house, Miss Cunningham. What I like, Charlie likes. <laughs> I'll get the lease. Isn't it beautiful, honey? Mm-hmm. You have children? Oh, my, yes, a lot. All girls. A lot? Well, you see, Charlie and me, we was both married before. You... <laughs> kind of hard to keep track, isn't it, precious? <laughs> <laughs> and I, this is a perfectly standard lease, as you can see, Mr. O'Reilly. 
Uh, you said the check was for five hundred dollars. That's right. That, that's correct. Well, you see, I do all the bill paying and the lease signing in the house. <laughs> Charlie here, he just doesn't care very much for the business part, but oh, he sure is one heck of a cop. <laughs> donated enough oil cloth to wrap around the world twice. I don't know why it's necessary for me to be here. On account of you're our chairman, Captain, you got to be here. Okay, you got the bylaws there? Yes, I do. All right, let's vote on <clears throat> Each woman, in order to qualify for Friendship House, must, one, admit she has a drinking problem and want to get better. Two, enter the house with uh, 24 hours of sobriety, Three, wear a dress. The men don't wear dresses. We've been through this before, B. All right. Four, refrain from dating while she is here. Oh, that's a killer. B. Okay, five, prove that she has no means of support. Yeah, I'm sorry, but that one still bothers me. How come we're only taking the poor ones? Because the others can get help elsewhere by paying for it. Never did a thing for me. The majority rule. Well, O'Reilly, they're on their way down. This is your big chance. Pray for me, Captain. Well, you're going to need all the prayers you can get. Look, I know I haven't been easy. What, as opposed to me, you mean? I love you very much, Captain Burnside. Hey, Tony. Hi, B. <laughs> hey, maybe we can find your rich husband, huh? B, this is Jesse. Hi, Jesse. Well, take care of him for me. I will. Well, come on, Angel. Jesse. Honey, you're probated to me. You want to go back in there? Okay, come on, hop in. Found your skirt, honey. Rule of the house. Put it on, you come down for lunch. Hey, Jesse. You know something? This is kind of a history-making day for you and Tony and me. I don't know why, but somehow, you know, the, the world just never cared much what happened to women like us. Whether you believe it or not, I'm a lot like you. Only difference is I never shut up as long as you have. I'm gonna leave you alone now. If you get hungry or anything, or you want to talk, you just come on downstairs. Okay, Jesse? First thing you have to do is admit you have a drinking problem. Well, I drink now and then. Tell right. me you want to stay here. Yeah. All right. Sit down. Watch your lie and say you do have a drinking problem. Otherwise, I can't keep you. Don't you see? That's the only reason you're here. Where are you going, honey? Are you hungry? I can fix you something to eat. Aren't you must be starved. You haven't eaten a thing all day. Jesse, please stay. Let me talk to you. 
Don't run away, Jesse. Jesse, if you keep running, you wind up back in jail. Jesse! I lost her, Rita. She just ran off into the night. Hell, I must have said something wrong. Well, we still got Tony. That's right. Oh, don't she look pretty? Gorgeous. Ladies coming for lunch. What? Which one of you is Beatrice? I am. I walked from Lincoln Heights. That's at least ten miles, honey. Where are your shoes? Well, that don't matter. What's your name? Jane. Jane Marie Hamilton. Are you sober? Have you been sober for at least twenty-four hours? We got ourselves a girl. A pooped one, but a girl. How'd you hear about us? Jesse. Oh, that rascal. Are you hungry? Oh, we better clean her up first, B. Remember, we have Jess coming in an hour. Well, I don't care if they like her or not. I do. You hear that, Jane Marie Hamilton? <laughs> now, don't scare her away. Oh, Rita, I think this girl needs a hug more than anybody I ever met in my life. Janie, come on, honey. We've got to get you clean so you can have lunch with us. We've got these ladies coming over today, and they're going to give us money so we can take good care of you. Take off the coat. Come on, you don't want to eat your coat. You're liable to spill something on it. All right. Don't be ashamed of the dress underneath. I sold it. Well, now, shoot, that's all right. Lots of people sell their dresses. That's nothing to be ashamed of. I'll get you another one. It's going to be all right. Go on, you take your bath. Janie, we don't have no locks here, honey. I always got drunk behind locked doors. How about a petty for us for the road, Ms. Miller? Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> Come along, ladies. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's an awfully large house for just one girl. Oh, we got room for 12. All we need is time and money. Oh, well, good luck then. <laughs> thank you so much. Bye. Bye now. <laughs> petty for us cost us more than that. Eat up, Jane. Sachs. My housekeeper suggested that I come to see you. Oh, I'm awful sorry. We don't take men, but oh, I know where no, I... No, no, no. I'm not here for me. I brought my daughter, Deborah. We've tried everything. She's had the very best. I know. Alcoholism hits all kinds, don't it? Deborah has agreed to stay here if you'll have her. Is that true, honey? I wish I could take her right now, but I got to change this rule we got here first. Deborah, are you willing to wait just one more day? Mr. Sachs, will you call me in the morning? I will. I certainly will. Well, I think it's a mistake to take in a rich girl. You can't mix them like that. 
Why not? They all got the same disease. And if her father has money, it might be a way to get a nice donation, if we help his little girl. What a cold-blooded thing to say, and that's absolutely true. Lord knows we need the money. Rent's due in two weeks. Well, I think you're trying to mix apples and oranges. Well, I never did know what was wrong with that. What do you do with the men? They don't mix apples and oranges. Are you with me? It's a tie. You know, while we're on the rules, the dress code isn't working. Well, that one bothers me, too. Some of the girls just don't feel comfortable in their dress, and the whole point is they should feel good about themselves, you know? Hello? Beg pardon? Where are you, honey? All right, now, you just sit tight. I'll be right there. I lost a girl tonight. We've lost a lot of girls. I just left a beautiful 18-year-old girl dead in the emergency room at the hospital, Kay. She died because she had money. Maybe she died because she OD'd. Either we change that rule or you get yourselves another house, Mother. I think one with a little less ego might not be a bad thing. You want the job? You got it. What if she... I'll go. B! B! Come back. Not till I win my point. If I'm gonna run that house, I gotta believe in the rules, Charlie. And I do believe in rules, but just not some of ours. Okay, you win. You should have seen how beautiful little Debbie was. She had everything in the world going for her. I said you win. I do? Yes. I want to tell you something. Just one time, and I'm never going to say it again. Sometimes I wish you weren't married. Sometimes I'm glad I am. drunk in the neighbor's lawn waving a knife. Ooh. Jesse, but I didn't know what to do. I called the police. They're on their way. Jesse. Jesse, what are you doing? You want to end up back in jail? Jesse, you got a knife? She's got one. I saw it. Where, Jesse? Where's the knife? Look at her purse. Can I, Jesse? Can I look in your purse? Just a bottle opener, Miss Rugolo. There's nothing else in it. Come on, honey. Come on home. Come. You just get up and come on home with me. Come on. What about the police? Just send them over to my house. What kind of house is that, anyway? Why don't you come over and see for yourself, Miss Rugolo? Have Sophie put on some coffee. I say, or I swear to God, I'll turn you over to your parole officer myself. I can lose my license over you. Uh, take ours, no guy. 
I liked you better when you wouldn't talk. Now, you got a drinking problem? Shake your head, you got a drinking problem? You want to get better? Get her in the shower, keep her there. B! Look, she did me a favor. She helped me get this house started, so I owe her one. So you just keep your mouth shut. I'm going down there, and I'm going to lie my buns off to keep her out of jail. But this is the first and the last time I do this, so don't you get any bright ideas. Well, good afternoon, gentlemen. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Sit down, honey. I see here that uh, Terry's unhappy with Sue Ellen on account of Sue Ellen leaves cap off the toothpaste. She sure does. And then it it sticks to the sink and I can't clean it out. <laughs> well, at least I don't use somebody else's toothbrush. Mm -hmm. Mine's always wet when I go to use it. <laughs> I do not use your toothbrush. You do. Oh, right. Now, come on. We're going to make a federal case out of this. Before you came here, you didn't even brush your teeth. <laughs> All right, now, Terry, what color is your tooth, toothbrush? Yellow. Yellow. All right, now, I'll make a note to get Terry a red toothbrush. And will you please try to remember to put the cap on? Now, does that solve that? All right. Oh, yeah, well, speaking of teeth, Charlene, smile for me. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, that's pitiful. <laughs> And you know we bought you a brand new set of chompers and we spent a lot of money on them. I sure wish you'd wear them, why don't you? They uncomfortable, be. All right, I'll make another appointment for you at the dentist. You know, you look so much prettier with a man. Oh, Julie, did you get that cashier's job? I didn't try. Honey, you know you're gonna have to face the world sooner or later. And I fixed it up with the manager. Now, I know you're good and ready. I don't want a room with Deirdre anymore. How come? Well, I think she's queer. <gasps> Honey, we're all queer. <laughs> no. I mean she's queer, queer. I am not. Oh, what indication do you have of that, Charlotte? She stares at me. I do not. I can't stand her. Well, I can't stand her either. Well, good. Then you both got something in common. <laughs> it's your turn. <laughs> Sophie, read your poems. <clears throat> Go ahead now. Don't be nervous. Wouldn't life be better if we praise the good we see? Mm -hmm. But there's such a lot of good... Uh, I have to talk to you. We're having a round table. Yeah, I know. Janie, would you take over? All right, honey, you start over. Wouldn't life be better if we there? praise the good we see? For there's such a lot of goodness. You know, Jessie's starting to get on my nerves. I swear she even waits for me outside the bathroom. But she's done so good, I hate to say anything to her. What's going on? Read this. What the hell is this? All right, Al, you're the lawyer. Why does somebody want to kick us out? Seems as though a lot of people do. Because I had a drunk in my house, huh? She was on parole? Yes. And you lied to yes, the police? Yes, I did. You're crazy. You have no right to treat a sick person. Suppose she'd gone into convulsions. I knew she wasn't going to go yes, into convulsions. Yes, you always know. Well, your neighbors have a case. B, why did you blow it? Just for one girl who's been nothing but trouble all her life. What do you think I've been all my life? What if they get enough signatures to take us to court? You could be forced to get out, or... Oh, but we couldn't afford that. I am not gonna start all over again. I want to talk to you private. You want to have lunch or something, my treat. I have an hour's work to do. I'll wait. You'll get out for an hour. Come on, Rita. Yes. Enjoy to go out. There's a park nearby. Thought you wanted to talk to him. 
Well, this is the first be me trying to get you to talk. He's really feeling sorry for himself this time, isn't she? I got so many people dependent on me. You know me, I always had this tendency to play God. I just feel so alone. No, no, I'm not finished being sorry for myself. I guess the reason I'm telling you all this, Charlie, is that I need the strong part of you to help the weak part of me right now. Oh, God, do I feel weak right now. So what am I going to do, huh? You are going to do exactly what you want to do, no matter what I think. Well, I want you to tell me, even if you think I'm a dead duck, Win or lose, you're going to put up one hell of a fight. And regardless of the outcome, I love your weak part, too, okay? <laughs> Beatrice O'Reilly. Beatrice, Your Honor. You just sit down. It's okay. These folks over here seem to feel that you and your tenants should not be in their neighborhood. A nuisance suit has been filed against you, been cited for a zoning violation, and an injunction's been brought against you restraining you from using your property in such a manner. What kind of house are you running, Mrs. O'Reilly? Not the kind you think, Your Honor. <laughs> it's a recovery house for alcoholic women. Your Honor, I feel like I should talk to the folks who want to kick us out. Would it be all right with you if I turn and face them? Yes. Thank you. Only uh, speak up so I can hear you. Oh, you won't have no trouble in that area, sir. <laughs> A few weeks ago, one of my girls was on Mrs. Rugolo's lawn here across the street. Now, Mrs. Rugolo was scared to death, of course, because she, she thought the girl had a knife. It turned out she didn't have a knife at all. All she had was a bottle opener so she could open up her booze. Uh, so, so I let Jessie, that's the girl I'm talking about, I, stand up, honey, so they can see how good you're doing. I let Jessie here come into our house, stinking drunk, and that's against our bylaws, see? So you can sit down, honey. So uh, when the policeman came, I lied. I, I told him that Jessie here was a poor blind girl who lost her C&I dog and couldn't find her way home. I told a lot of lies. I told him because I was scared to death that we was going to lose our home and we can't afford to get another one. So you see, if you kick us out, my girls, I guarantee you, sooner or later, they're going to wind up back in jail. And then sooner or later, they're going to get out of jail. And you... You'd have every reason to be scared. Because you wouldn't be safe. Because I'll tell you something. A practicing addict will do anything to get a drink or a fix or a pill. I know what I'm talking about because I was one once myself. Stand up. Stand up, darling. Come on. I'll... Stand up. Come on, come in closer. I want you all to take a good hard look at each other. Well, I tell you, you wouldn't believe it. If you'd seen my girls before they came to my house for help, You'd have every reason to be scared to death of them. And look at them now. Let me ask you something. Just who's the scared of who here? See, what I'm trying to tell you is that the house isn't the problem. The house is the solution. Mrs. O'Reilly. Uh, yeah, I know. Sit down, darlings. I know. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm long-winded, Your Honor. I'll get to it. You can sit down. Please. 
You know what I'd love to do? I'd love to invite each and every one of you to come over to the house and see for yourselves how warm and friendly the feeling is over there. You don't know. You might even need it someday yourselves. Oh, and by the way, if any of you are so inclined, you can become a member of the Friendship Foundation for as little as $2 a piece. This is a right. I'm done. Your Honor, I don't mean to be pushy, but do you think maybe they could vote on whether or not we could stay? I gotta know now, one way or the other. Your Honor, could we have a brief conference with our attorneys? Make it brief. Could I go to the bathroom? Yes. It's all right, honey. I'll be all right. You just sit down. It's okay. for women in Los Angeles has just celebrated its 31st birthday. Over 10,000 women have passed through its doors. 76-year-old B has helped similar dreams become a reality throughout the United States.